Give it up for yourself. That was a full cool color battle. It's very rare when you talk about time of possession, 37-19. That is a total team effort. Yes, sir. Okay? So that was a great performance. So many, so many guys we could go round and round, but understand what we have in front of us. We got a short turnaround, and we gotta go down to Miami. All right? So you can enjoy it tonight, but get your mind right, get your body back. We got six days. We're going down to Miami for another battle. Hey, fam on three. One, two, three. Bam. <laughs>
Total Packers with Matt LaFleur is brought to you by your local Chevy dealers. By Bell and Health and by Johnsonville. You know that everything you do in the community is not for nothing, it doesn't go unknown. Not just the people that you're affecting, but the community sees it. It makes you want to do more in the community, it makes you want to continue to get involved and have an effect and use your platform. We're Ashley Strong. Yeah. It's a blessing. I thank the community of Green Bay for just embracing me and accepting me and really working with me in the community. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Me and my family have always been big and giving back to the community. So just to be even mentioned in the same sentence as some of these guys who were nominated or won before is a huge honor. <laughs> it's something that me and my father talked about winning this award. So I'm just gonna do my best that I can and I know he'll be smiling down. This season's Walter Payton Man of the Year will be crowned at NFL Honors in February. In the meantime, you can help Aaron Jones win this year's Charity Challenge. Fans can vote on Twitter by tweeting the hashtag on the screen and Jones. A win would get Aaron a $25,000 donation to his foundation, a and &A, all the way. Voting ends January 8th. This one-on-one -on -one is brought to you by Quick Trip and Guaranteed Fuel. When Nixon has his hands on the ball, Wayne, it's like Mr. Excitement. It is. And it's going to be physical. Keyshawn Nixon brought what to the Green Bay Packers? Just that dog mentality, you know what I'm saying? I brought to my love to compete, love being around the guys. I think I bring great energy, great locker room, you know what I'm saying? Just a great teammate. Do the guys call you K-9? Yeah. Okay, is that just a takeoff on your name or is there more to it? I've been wearing number nine since my whole life. So when I was a kid, you know, they used to say like, you know, I was always like a dog. So they started calling me K-9 and I just kind of ran with it. Aaron Rodgers called you that when he was talking to the media last week, and he also said that he has encouraged you to be more of a hugger. What's that all about, and are you becoming a hugger? <laughs> I can sense like 12 always want to talk to me. I'm just like, you know what I'm saying, I wasn't really comfortable around him yet, so I wouldn't talk to him. So one day he tried to hug me, I told him like, don't touch me. <laughs> I told him don't touch me. And he was like, why are you so angry? He was like, you need a hug. I'm like, I don't want to hug. So he <laughs> hugged me one day, and I'm like, you know what? That felt kind of good. I got a hug, so every day he hugs me. And here comes Nixon on the left side, makes the turn. Right sideline, 35-40, inside the 50-yard line. Keyshawn Nixon is just electric on kickoff return. Clearly you have a knack for this stuff. What's the secret? Honestly, it's the blockers. You know what I'm saying? They've been putting me in position to to use my speed and, and make something happen with the ball, but them guys be in great position. They tell me every week, take it out, Key. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna block for you. And they give me all the confidence in the world because it's like, I know they're gonna, they gonna block for me. Watching you, a couple things stand out. Number one, you're fearless. And I think you're faster than people think because sometimes it looks like a guy has the angle and whoa, you're by. What do you think? I'm a track guy, you know, so people probably don't think because of my body build, I play corner. Yeah, I don't think guys understand, you know what I'm saying? If I get like a little angry or something, I might be gone. Well, I'll buy that. How about the fearless part? Have you always been fearless? Yeah, I'm not really scared of nothing, even off the field. I don't, you know, get myself as a tough guy. I don't walk around with anger and stuff like that, but I don't take nothing from nobody. Hey, when you make a big play, the guys go crazy. Can you feel that energy? Yeah, I can feel the energy. I also feel the fans too. Like when, I, when I'm running with the ball and I break away, I hear the fans getting louder. So I, that's how I know I'm doing something good. Three games left, beginning with the Dolphins on Christmas Day. What do you think? It's Christmas, you know what I'm saying? You get to play on Christmas. I've been watching NFL games on Christmas since I was a kid. So being able to just like experience that 
and play for the Packers is like, I've been really in awe, like, wow, that's really a G on my helmet. It's a whole new team for me. And you guys embrace me. And I just feel like I, I belong here. I feel comfortable. So I think like, Christmas Day is going to be real good. Uh, the teammate that gives the best gifts. Hmm. Uh, David Bakhtiari. I only know this by personal experience. Jack Coco, very giving, young guy. So has a lot, you know, to give. Randall Cobb. <laughs> Most like the Grinch. Um... <laughs> Pat O'Donnell sometimes. Adrian Amos, hands down. Aaron Rodgers, got him. You know what, I heard Mason Crosby called me the Grinch, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and reciprocate that and call Mason Crosby the Grinch. I had a couple names come to my head, but I ain't gonna say them. This week's Chalk Talk is brought to you by Network Health. At Network Health, we do what's right, even when it's not easy. It's who we are. Health insurance is what we do. During the practice week prior to the Rams game, I thought I was watching a team that was in a good place, physically and mentally. And then during the game, one play proved it beyond the shadow of a doubt. Second and five from the eight, the handoff to A.J. Dillon, and he is heading right up the gut. Real deal football. And from tackle to tackle, the Packers have hats on Rams. And for inside the 10 yard line, that's a pretty good sized hole, but it closes quickly. Same play, sideline view, and you can see A.J. getting through the line of scrimmage clean and he gets hit for the first time at about the four yard line and the fun is just beginning. AJ drags three Rams towards the end zone and then watch this, watch the troops rally. Alan Lazard, Zach Tom, Josh Myers, Elton Jenkins, Josiah DeGuara, and John Runyon all rally to the football. And look at that, by the time it's all said and done, not only does AJ score, but six other Packers score right along with them. That play, that kind of effort speaks volumes. That's the mentality we want to have and, and the mentality that we want to play with and the physicality and the finish. I was so excited. You see Lyman uh, getting back into that pile, pushing him into the end zone. And that was just a great play. Inside the five, to the goal line, and an eight yard touchdown blast. Total Packers with Matt LaFleur is brought to you by Network Health. By your Wisconsin Toyota dealers and by Spectrum One. Uh, favorite Christmas song, gotta go Mariah. How does that? We wish you a Merry Christmas. Has to be Jingle Bells, hands down. Uh, Blue Christmas by Elvis Presley. This Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a... Yeah. Okay. Rocking around the Christmas tree. My favorite Christmas gift of all time had to have been my Hot Wheels set that I got back when I was seven years old. It's always golf clubs. If I get golf clubs, I'm always a happy guy. A bike. Woke up and it was a bike in my bedroom. I would say when I got the PlayStation 2 back in the day. A G.I. Joe. I remember one Christmas, that's all I wanted, and I got the G.I. Joe. That was really big in the 90s. Favorite Christmas movie? It's got to be Home Alone. Uh, Home Alone. I'll go with the Home Alone duo. Elf with Will Ferrell. Elf. My favorite Christmas movie is The Grinch. Uh, Christmas Vacation. Christmas Vacation. Ooh, Christmas Vacation. Doesn't get old. Sargento, official cheese of the Green Bay Packers, celebrates 20 years of Touchdowns for Hunger, donating more than $1.7 million to fight hunger in Wisconsin.
Welcome back. Time to hand out game balls. And Matt, on offense, you went with Mercedes Lewis and Alan Lazard. Interestingly enough, neither of whom had crazy stats. What did they bring to the party? They bring the physicality, the mentality. Um, Allen made a lot of critical blocks throughout the course of the game. I know he only had one catch. Same with Sadie. Sadie's had a big play on the on the keeper where Aaron threw back across the grain to put us in scoring position. But just the physicality of which he plays with and the mentality he brings to our offense, both guys put it on display each and every week and they don't get the credit that they deserve. And on defense, you went with Preston Smith who had two of your season high five sacks. Yeah, Preston was all over the place, obviously creating havoc uh, from from the outside linebacker position. And uh, you know, that's that's something that we've needed and probably lacked a little of is just that consistent pass rush. And we're lucky it showed up uh, against the Rams. On special teams, you went with Keyshawn Nixon and he was on the program earlier. And I have to say, Matt, I love that guy's game. Anything he does, it's just Physical. It sure is. It's physical. It's fast. He sure doesn't lack confidence. I'll tell you that much. But he's been such a great weapon for us uh, on special teams. All right. Thank you, Matt. Coming up, the last word from the coach, Joe Cole. Mark Murphy, president of the Packers. Want to wish all Packer fans a great holiday season. Randall Cobb here. Just want to wish everyone in Packer Nation a happy holidays and Merry Christmas. Thank you guys for your support all season and wish y'all a Merry Christmas. Hey, it's Mason Crosby here. Just want to wish y'all a happy holiday. Just want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas and go Pack. Just want to wish all Packer Nation happy holidays. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's. Go Pack, go. The Last Word with Matt LaFleur is brought to you by Construction Business Group and Wisconsin Operating Engineers. Welcome back. Time for the last word from the coach. And Matt, I think when most folks think about the Miami Dolphins, they think Tua. It's not as simple as that, is it? Absolutely not. Tua is playing at a really high level, but he's got a lot of weapons around him. Uh, in the backfield, Raheem Moser, Jeff Wilson, and then he's got a track team basically to throw to, and Jalen Waddell and Tyreek Hill, Mike Jacecki. So there's a lot of weapons that they have. And then when you look at their defense, especially up front, they've got some guys that can wreck a game. Bradley Chubb, Jalen Phillips, number 94, Wilkins in there. So it's, it's going to be a great test for us and one that we're going to have to go down there with the right mindset, the right mentality, and, and really take it that one play at a time and play our best ball. Matt, thank you. Good luck against the Dolphins, and thank you for watching. Until next time, take care and Merry Christmas.